Hey yo. Hey yo. That's rad. Shower this morning. Oh, I was that. You know, it off, man. I did too. I, yeah. I, I love taking showers in the morning. Like, right up. Yeah. Y'all made me hang out of here. Chris needs about half a dozen hats. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if they got a camo hat <laughs> or anything dark colored, <laughs> yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Buy me another one. Do you, <laughs> do you need? Well, I'd sell one. And that should tell you everything you need to know about Chip. That's Just right. buy me another one. Okay. <laughs> no, he doesn't have one. He's, he didn't get it. I told oh. him three times. Gotta get a little water movement. Zero wind this morning. Typical Colorado duck hunting. Confidence decoys. Dude, I saw a, a YouTube video the other day. I was talking about confidence decoys, and the whole entire time I was watching it, all I was thinking about was don't just stop talking because that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> we might even get the old blue heron decoy out today. Confidence. <laughs> Yeah, you have fun with that. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? That is a big dog. He's a big dog. Yeah, man. That dog is freaking great. Yeah, look at that. Everybody has holes or panels they're going to be shooting in between. <coughs> Just make sure and shoot your lanes when birds come in. It's going to be best if everybody shoots their lanes, so we'll end up getting more at the end of the shooting. Uh, but make sure to shoot your lanes, and nobody shoots towards the house. So there's two houses over here. You can see the barn with the light on. There's a house to the left of that. That's the house that we're going to have to pay attention to. If a duck ever swings to that point, and you see that house in the background of your gun, just know that you cannot shoot that direction. <coughs> Let's just try and keep all the shooting from this way over. I set the decoys that way, so we should be fine. Um, but just keep in mind, because at some point a duck will end up going that way. Just know I can't shoot. We'll get off and get another duck. It won't be a big deal. Anything that way we got to worry about? Nope, nothing this way. So okay. I'm going to be sitting down here on the end. Most people. <laughs> yeah. I'll be sitting down here on the end with the dog. Just keep in mind, in order not to blast out my eardrums, just a 45 degree angle, and that way it kind of keeps everybody on par for how far he's left. You can kind of shoot to as well. Um, don't shoot until I call a shot. There is a lot of mallards and spoonies around. So if I see like another duck that's going to join a group of teal or it's in the decoys, I'm going to not call the shot just to make sure that we don't shoot a different duck that we shouldn't be shooting today. That's kind of the basis of everything. Obviously the sun is going to be in our face this morning. The best 30 minutes, I'm assuming with it being sunny, is going to be the first 30 minutes that we can shoot. So there's a teal right there just landed. You see him? Yep. So like in that direction, you can't shoot there, but when he came out left, then you can shoot. Like right there, you can see a shadow on the water, but you can shoot him in all that direction. So with the first 30 minutes, with teal, thankfully, we don't have to stay that covered up. The blinds are very concealed too as well. So you guys are just gonna stand up the whole entire time, have gone to your right-hand side, or left-hand side, whichever side you're gonna shoot with, or whichever side your trigger finger is, um, and just kind of be standing and be prepared. Teal are gonna come in, you're not really going to see them most of the time. They're just always hanging to be there. So definitely a couple things to keep in mind. If you guys don't mind, I always say a quick prayer before all of our hunts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Dear Lord, thank you for the day. Thank you for the awesome opportunity you get to provide us with, uh, being in your great creation. God, we thank you for the sun. Uh, we thank you for these guys being here. And we ask that you keep us safe. And if it's in your will, we do well and shoot some birds. Amen. Amen. Okay. Y'all pile on the blinds. I'm going to go just adjust a few decoys. And then we will be hunting. I'll stay on the left side unless somebody likes shooting the left side. Hey, Owen, can you make sure the reed stays up there with you? Reed here. Reed here. Reed here. 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 Heel. Heel. Sit. Dog. Sit. A dog is ready to work. That's right. Hey guys, it's September 13th. We're back at it again hunting teal. Um, we hunted the same pond on Saturday that we're gonna hunt today, but there's a bunch of teal back on here yesterday. 
So we're looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good one. We have sun today, so we don't have to worry about identifying species nearly as much. Um, and I think it's going to be a great time. So stick with us. Make sure and like the video and subscribe. Those are all big ducks. Off limits. Cool to watch, though. They're probably going to want to go land in the middle of those. Yeah, oh yeah, yep, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, kill him. Nice, good shot. Wow, that's a good shot. Yeah. Little widgeons. Yeah. You could have been a dead duck right there. Go right there, guys. Good okay. I'm messing with dogs. Wow. Well, he would, he asked what she was doing for dinner. It's going good. Got a couple good opportunities. I had some flocks of teal. Not saying as many as we did on Saturday, of course, but there's still been quite a few. Just waiting on them to come back. Yeah, so right now it's about 7 in the morning. And, uh, you know, good first early flight. We got a few. I think we got around 10 so far, 10 teal. Um, no, but we're plugging away. I'm kind of sitting back behind the blind and you know we got a pretty good hide we're kind of sitting in these thick cattails so you know I know that it's kind of hard to get these birds in focus once when they start decoying once when they hit those cattails because this camera just keeps trying to you know try and get that foreground in focus so I apologize if it's not as in focus but you know we're plugging away at them hunts going good we got some good shooters today so uh, yeah so just stay tuned we're gonna keep going big little hole that holds yeah. ducks and it's like 25 feet wide yeah you know and you're just hiding behind trees yeah no that's cool we didn't go out i never understood never why like we mossy or bottom land was this you know big popular pattern and then i duck on the timber and, and then I you're like it. okay this makes sense oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah the first like i was a total convert the first time my buddy was doing. wearing Sitting all bottomland waiters and all that, and, and I yeah. looked, and I like we couldn't find it. Yeah. Find the bird. Find the bird. Sit. Hey. Sit. Sit. Drop. Good boy. That's it. A little green wing action. Man down. <laughs> yeah, so we just had one kind of sneak in on the decoys on us. Um, I couldn't really get the camera out in time to get it, but, uh, you know, he kind of just showed up. Boy swept him up, got him good. Got him in the blind, so we're still chipping away, but uh, it's been a good morning. You know, we got great weather, and uh, we're still going to keep going, so hang in there with us. Well, uh, is another hunt wrapped up. That was fun. We didn't see nearly as many teal as we did the first time we hunted that pond, but we, you know what, we saw quite a few and we still got some, so we're happy with it, we'll take it. It was hot today. Um, it's already almost 80 degrees, so we're gonna get out of the heat, wrapped it up, we finished with nine teal and a dove. Um, and we're gonna go to Bruce's now and enjoy ourselves a little bit of morning eats, so. You guys make sure to subscribe. 
because uh, we really appreciate it. Like and comment on this video, and we'll catch you next time. Well, good morning. I know it looks kind of different. Obviously, we hunted yesterday, um, and we're just gonna roll all these videos in one video, and we're gonna hunt again today. So, we have two different guys than we did yesterday. Um, obviously, we don't normally do two gun hunts. We normally have a three gun minimum, but we're teal hunting, so we made a little bit of an exception. We get to hunt the new pond today. So, we got a stilt blind put in this pond a couple weeks ago. I haven't gotten the opportunity yet to get to hunt it. So we're really looking forward to this. We have no idea really what to expect. There's a handful of teal on the pond. There's a lot of mallards. So at least ways we'll get to see a show of ducks. Um, but I think the teal hunting will be good too as well. So stick with us, stay tuned, per usual, and let's run it up. Maiden voyage. Yep. Into the swamp we go. Duck literally just fucked flush like six yards in front of the line. Here. Here. Oh, yeah, don't like it. Hey. You know what time it is by chance? What? You know what time it is by chance? Yeah, let me check. 50. Solid. What's the tactic? Tactic is uh, trying to throw these decoys and open little open holes. I think today, with it still being so early in the season, and this uh, water weed still being so high. It'll probably be mainly ducks coming in the mojo more than anything. She's live. Honey. Thanks. But Sweet. should be pretty self-explanatory. If y'all don't mind, I'm gonna say a quick prayer for us. Yeah. I always do that before all of our hunts. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for our safety, getting in here, God. We ask that you keep us safe for the rest of the hunt. If it's in your will, we do well and shoot some birds. Um, we thank you for everything, though, amen. amen. Here we go, hunting. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> And they're gone. And they landed. Oh my god. Yeah, 
You have a gun? Yeah. You clean up. <laughs> Shoot that other one. Well, that was an nice. interesting morning. Yeah. Start. Is that one Watch this one. Yeah, coming right. back. Coming right. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, if this will freeze up, it'll freeze up about the same time as that big pond freezes up. But I would like to run an ice gear dart on this and keep it open because I think it would be unreal. Yeah. The big duck. Video that. There's a wood duck. Oh, Drake Woody. Oh, gosh. Look at these teal. Oh, here we go. Kill that one. Here! Shoot. Come on. Whenever you like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go retrieve mango. Had a girl. Dude, yeah, it's like they're like Saigon. it's like or no, it's like they're it's like the the smart weed is like enveloping your like legs, you know? Yeah. Like a cartoon. It's like they're eating you. It's like you need a machete. Yeah, honestly. What kind of um, cartoons are you watching? It's like <laughs> sex rodeo ones. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Uh, I wish Mango could just tell me that she found it. Went like ten you more could yards. Probably just send Blue out there and then direct him. Okay. What time is it now? Probably take us 15 minutes to get all this stuff wrapped. Good girl. Oh, good thing you got that decoy too. Yeah, we were pulling a couple. <laughs> I don't even think you noticed. <laughs> yeah, he has no idea. <laughs> oh, she's probably so tired. You got it. Come here, on, Mango. Here. Come on, here. Kennel. <laughs> Kennel, yeah. <laughs> Seems like that's kind of a suit that Can you yeah, take that? You have a decoy around your leg. Yeah. Yeah, just take it and put it back down the board. Yeah. I expected the water to get shallower. Yeah. No. Mango What are you doing, Mango? In Oklahoma Smoke Show. There you go. Well, obviously we wish we had seen more teal, but it was good. We ended with five teal and a dove. Had a lot of fun. Um, nonetheless, out here enjoying the creation and just having a good time. So, shared a lot of laughs. Had a lot of fun. We can't wait for big duck season. There's no doubt. It's all a lot of a lot of mallards and a lot of wood ducks this morning. So here we go. Almost there. Wait for me, Dad. <laughs> I'm coming. Blue's going. I don't know why y'all are going that way. The truck is over here. <laughs> and it's shallower. Yeah. Well, we just got done with our teal hunt in the morning. We're doing a little scouting afterwards. We have a ton of geese in this field of ours here that we lease. It seems to be the case this season so far. So unfortunately, we can't hunt geese until the end of October, but 
we have a lot of geese in our fields and I think it's going to be a good sign. So make sure and stick with us. Watch these videos throughout the season. It's just getting started. And make sure and subscribe and like that video. We really appreciate it.